Hi, I'm Steven with Power Equipment Parts World. Today we wanted to do just a little video to give you guys some information to help you choose the right lawnmower blade. So you see on the table I have here four different lawnmower blades. These are all 21 inch commercial lawnmower blades with a 5.8 center hole. So these would all fit a 61 inch commercial mower. Now while all of these blades are interchangeable, it would be to your advantage to choose the blade that's best suited to your needs. Now the major difference between these blades I have here today is the degree of lift on these blades. Now when we're dealing with lawnmower blades and we talk about lift, what we're talking about is this turned up piece of metal behind the cutting edge. The purpose of this piece of metal turned up like this is to create a vacuum. So while your blades are spinning under your deck, this lip on the back of the blade is catching air, creating a lift, creating a vacuum which makes the grass stand up straight so they can get a nice even cut. The important thing to remember with lift is that you want to have enough to get a good cut, but not more than you need. The reason for that is, especially if you're using a really high lift blade, it can also suck up dirt with the grass. So as it's creating that vacuum, it's going to pull dirt up into your deck, and your blades are going to be hitting that dirt, dulling them much more quickly, wearing them down shorter, and over time even wearing holes in your deck. If you have a really sandy soil, you're probably going to want to use a low lift blade, like this one we have here. It has a little bit of a lip there, so it's going to create some suction, some vacuum, but it's not going to pull up large amounts of sand into your deck. If, for instance, you're cutting in clay land, Obviously pulling up dirt and sand is not something you have to worry about a whole lot, so you'd probably be fine to go ahead and use a high lift blade, like this one here. So you may be wondering, if the high lift blade causes so much problems with sucking up dirt, why would you ever use one at all? Well, the high lift blade is really popular, for one instance, when people are trying to stripe their yards. You know, when you want to get a nice pattern when you get done mowing. The high lift blade is going to give you a much more dramatic results than say a medium or a low lift blade. So the fourth blade I have here today is a little different style. This is what people call a gator mulching blade, or just a gator blade. Now you'll notice here on this blade, the lift is divided into three segments that are kind of sharp. Now the purpose of this kind of blade is, well, like it's called, it's a mulching blade. So when it pulls the grass up into the deck, and as it cuts it, these fins on the back are going to cut the grass again and again, as long as the grass stays in the deck. When it is thrown out, it'll be in smaller pieces than it would have been had it been cut with an ordinary blade, which means it's going to be less visible in your yard, it's going to break down quicker, so it's going to look good and it's also going to turn the fertilizer for your yard much more quickly. Once again, this is Steven with Power Equipment Parts World. Thank you for joining us for the video today. We hope it's been helpful to you. And we want to earn your business. Um, at the end of this video, you'll see a link on the screen. If you click on that, it'll take you directly to our website, PowerEquipmentPartsWorld.com, where you'll find a line of over 9,000 products to meet all your lawn and garden needs. We do carry quality products at good prices. And for most of the continental U.S., uh, we can get you your products within two business days. Thanks again for joining us and we'll see you next time.